All right, guys, this week we are working on Jeff's six by six. He's, <laughs> we are, uh, we're gonna lower it and we're, I think we're gonna take it to the drag strip. So we're gonna slam it down, probably put some cambered wheels on it. Yeah, that's how low it's going. We're gonna raise these up so that it'll work. It's gonna be nuts, but this is what we're actually doing. We're uh, we're lifting it. We got he just bought two lift kit, two lift kits, as you've seen in the last video. Um, it is a complete mess. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got the front done, as you can see. Got the shocks in, all the new bars on there. Everything is all done. Shocks are pretty soft. Um, so we started looking at the back last night and uh, we noticed that these bars that they give us are the same exact length as the bars that are already on there. So we might not even have to do anything to this or to the back at all, except for do something with this this drive shaft because it doesn't like to move. I think it's too long. So we might just have to do that to make the drive shaft shorter, put the new shocks and springs on, put the shock oil in them on all four of them. And uh, yeah, that's about it. See if that works. If not, then we'll just have to figure out what we can do for this to work. That's where we're at right now. We're about to start on the back. See if we could just do that and get away with that or if we gotta figure something else out. <clears throat> yeah. So hopefully we get it done today and we'll see it by the end of the video. All right, so a little update for you guys. I put these longer ones on. They're like barely any longer. They're actually the ones from the front. And now it's too far apart for this drive shaft. And I tried to put this longer one on there. You can see that one's obviously longer. I tried to put that one on there, but apparently the hole that it goes into is too small or something. I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. So I figured I'd just try it anyway. It's definitely not working. So honestly, I have no idea. I'm just going to have to keep messing with it until we figure something out. If we figure something out, we will eventually. So yeah, that's a little update, but right, at least the front's done, I guess. Looks a lot better. It'll be a lot better when the whole thing is done. But, so that's what we're working with. It's honestly kind of a pain. But, gotta be done, I guess. So, I'll update you guys again whenever, uh, maybe if we ever figure something out. If not... We'll still be at this park right there. All right, guys, she is done. Got it all back together. So what we did was we kept everything in the back as all stock other than the shocks. So all we did was just put the stock ones back on because the axle wouldn't work with the other ones. It was too short. We thought it was gonna be too long like this, but we just threw it together, put the shocks on and everything just to see, and it's actually working pretty good. So, look at it. Looks good. One inch lift kit on it. I think it's ready to flex now. It's gonna be pretty sweet. Can't wait to uh, take it out. 
Now I have to buy a new steering gear because I took it out Saturday out to our campground and uh, my steering broke on it. So, yeah. So probably one day soon we'll go get that steering gear. That's all I need, I think, now. So just get the steering gear and then take it out and see what it does. The new shocks, new shock oil, the lift, obviously. See if it tips more or anything. See what, if there's any kind of different roles that it'll play. But that's the video. Got the lift kit on. Pretty soon we'll go check it out, show you guys. I'll go put the, I'll go get the body and put it on. See, uh, turn the lights on it. Get it all turned on, see what it looks like. I'll be right back. There she is. It's the finished product with the lift kit. Man, that looks sweet. That looks so dope. Hopefully she performs as good as she looks, you know? Always gotta pray for that. I think it was a successful work. Got it done. And like I said, we'll take it out whenever I get that steering fixed, see what it does. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, guys. Here is Jeff's lift kit on his 6x6. Well, long, long arm kit. As you can see, it flexes a lot. It's a lot right there. There's mine. It looks good. The All we did was change the shocks, right, in the back? Yeah. That's crazy. That's all you have to do is change the shocks in the back and lift it in the front a little bit. All in all, it seemed pretty easy. It seemed easier than that one. I mean, less work. Yeah, we thought it would be a lot more. It smells like it. Yeah, that's how you do it. But if you want to extend, extend the back out here, you can put the the longer uh, arms on there to extend this out so he could put bigger tires on it. The only thing is, I don't know where you would get a cable that is that long. This cable that goes all the way to the back of this one is huge. So you wouldn't be able to, I don't know if you could find it, but unlock and lock it. But you could always put a solid uh, solid axle in there, or a solid all the time positive. But uh, that's the only thing about that. But it wasn't bad at all. What do you think, Joe? Yeah. All you do is change what four four of the arms on the front. Yeah. And the shocks. And the back is just a shock, literally. Yeah. I think the hardest part about the back was putting the shock oil on the shocks. But we're gonna crawl around some more and show you how they work. <laughs> Thank you.
and she goes down. 